Boom, 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 boom. Five Star Live Entertainment.com with another Sound Clash prediction. You know what I'm saying? But before we get into that, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and hit that notification bell for more contents like this and upcoming um, live stream sound clashes on 5 Star Live Entertainment.com. Shout out to Lady Anya Promotion and Joe Grind for another, another big sound clash they're putting on. This one is called the Garden State Execution Style Sound Clash 2019 featuring two of the biggest songs right now that's dominating the place right now. Young Hawk out of Bronx, New York versus Culture Blend out of New Jersey. So here's my prediction, people. And you can disagree with my prediction, okay? You can disagree and, you know, at the comments below, let me know what you think and where, where, how you feel like I'm wrong or how you feel like I'm right or do you agree or disagree. It's all good, you know what I'm saying? We're here to agree to disagree, all right? So Young Hawk versus Culture Blend. Culture Blend, one of the hottest sounds right now for 2019 appeared in a couple of big clashes, you know what I'm saying? And um, Young Hawk coming off an impressive win against Twin Tower and Bojangles in Connecticut a couple of weeks ago. But this clash will be taking place at Club Eclipse in Newark, New Jersey, November 1st, okay? November 1st, Newark, New Jersey, Club Eclipse. They still have early bird tickets out there. Make sure you get your early bird tickets. Go support Sound Clash. Now, people, like I said, this clash is taking place in Newark, New Jersey at Club Eclipse, where Culture Blend, that's where they're from, Newark, New Jersey. So you already know they got the home field advantage, right? They have the home field advantage. So here's my prediction now. For Culture Blend to win this clash, they have to play almost as perfect. And I know I did a blog uh, earlier this year when they clashed against um, Lion Roar. And I also said the same thing where they was on their way of winning. And at the last minute, you know, a lot of confusion happened and they got up and took their stuff and left. Which I felt like they shouldn't have done. But anyway, enough with that. Let's talk about November 1st at Club Eclipse. Young Hog versus Culture Blend. Like I said, Culture Blend got the home field advantage, right? Culture Blend has to play almost as perfect at home. Believe it or not, at home to win this clash. For Young Hawk to win this clash, the venue has to be full. All right? I know y'all saying like, damn, what do you mean the venue has to be full? The venue has to be full because you got to look at it like this. Young Hawk been suffering losses from um, clashes that has not been a full venue. So guess what? The home, the home sound has their fans in there no matter what. If the venue full or not full. For Jamie, his job, and, and, and he does an excellent job of doing it, is to work on the people that are neutral. And most of the time, there's more neutral people there than than the fans of the other sound. So that's what Jamie is great at, is to manipulate the neutral people and, let, and get them on his side and, you know what I'm saying, and cheer for them and win rounds. So the only way Young Hawk could win this clash, have a chance of winning this clash, if only the, um, the, the venue is full, it's a Ram dance, a good amount of people in there, just so he could have the leverage of gaining the um, votes of the neutral people. Uh, Culture Blend is going to have their um, fans in there. They're going to have their following in there. All they have to do is show up, play good, and execute, and try to not make any mistakes. And they have a great, they, their percentage of winning is greater than Jamie. But for Jamie to win, it has to be a full dance. If it's a flat dance, so if it's a flat clash, meaning that there's nobody in there, Jamie, you're in trouble because I know this and people, you can agree with me or disagree with me. Most of Jamie losses has been um, with clashes that was not full. Most of them. You know, if you think about it. Yeah, most of them are clashes where it's not full. Like, let's, for instance, the hard target clash where Jamie lost. The venue was not full. The people that was in there mostly hard target fans. So, 
That was the advantage to hard target. Not taking nothing away from hard target on their win, but, you know, that's how the business go. You know what I'm saying? So that's my prediction. For Young Hawk to win, it has to be a full, full dance. You know what I'm saying? So Jamie could work with the neutral people. Culture blend, all they got to do is show up and play excellent throughout the rounds and not drop the ball at all. And they have a chance of winning this clash, man. So people, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, if you agree, you know, hit the like mark. If you disagree, don't hit the dislike mark, but just drop a comment and tell me why you disagree or agree in the comment section. And um, like I said, continue to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're not subscribed already for um, upcoming live stream clashes and um, to hear more contents of recaps and um, prediction of some clashes are coming up. You know what I'm saying? So keep it locked right here at 5starlifeentertainment.com. All right? Boom, 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 boom.